A lot has changed since I launched the UK-India Business Leaders Climate Group in February. Back then, our party was in opposition. Now, we're in government. But two things have remained absolutely the same, and they go to the core of this report. The first is our commitment to take the relationship between Britain and India to the next level. India is one of the largest investors in Britain. Already, our trade relationship is worth £11.5 billion a year. Make our relationship stronger, and we both have so much more to gain. That's why, when I went to India in July, I took with me the biggest visiting delegation of business leaders and entrepreneurs of any Prime Minister in recent memory. The second thing that hasn't changed is our commitment to tackling climate change. When we formed the new co coalition, I said that I wanted this to be the greenest government ever. Now, of course, that means working for international agreement and showing leadership at home. But I passionately believe some of the most powerful solutions will come from people like you. Business. Your innovation, your creativity. They won't just help us save our planet. They will create the millions of jobs and billions of revenue that the market for green goods and services is expected to generate. That's why this summer, India and Britain agreed to collaborate on developing and deploying renewable technologies. And it's why I'm delighted with this report we're launching today. It has set out a clear roadmap towards further collaboration between business leaders in our two countries. Joint demonstration projects, removing barriers to investment, the exchange of research and skills. It's an exciting agenda that can deliver jobs, growth and environmental protection. I would like to thank everyone involved, but let's remember, this isn't the end of the work, it's only the beginning.